Hi there, welcome to this CBT Nuggets Micro Nugget entitled Understanding Cloud Delivery Models. My name is Tim Warner. As you know, cloud computing terminology is in a state of heavy flux now in the 21st century. You'll find if you do some internet research many contradictory definitions and out and out inaccurate definitions. That's to be expected and this is one of the reasons why I'm personally so interested in cloud computing. The technology is so new and in such a state of volatility. The purpose of this micro nugget is to help us differentiate between the three main cloud types, public, private, and hybrid. You'll find that the terminology tends to step on each other. You'll find, for instance, references to cloud delivery models or service deliveries, instead talking about SaaS, PaaS, and IaaS. If you want more information on differentiating these service models, see my associated micro nugget on our YouTube channel. The first cloud type is easiest to understand, the public cloud. These are cloud services that are offered to the general public. We would turn to cloud services most typically because of their flexibility, their resiliency, their geographic distribution, and the fact that we generally can just pay for the services we need. End user public cloud services include things like Dropbox and Office 365 and Google Apps. The confusing thing about the public cloud is that we see lots of bleed over into the private cloud space. For instance, Amazon Web Services plus using AWS privately is equal to what's called the hybrid cloud. A private cloud is defined as an infrastructure where a business owns its own cloud services. Some hallmarks that define a private cloud are things like, can you do self-service? Can your employees dynamically provision virtual machines with just a couple mouse clicks and a web browser? Do you have automation in place that if your virtual exchange server fails, you can spin up a replica instance in mere seconds? Resiliency. This stuff is pretty expensive to do in a purely private, roll-your-own service. And therefore, the private cloud is primarily of interest to DevOps, people who are software developers or systems administrators or both. An example of a private cloud service would be Microsoft System Center 2012, in particular, Virtual Machine Manager and Hyper-V 3.0. Finally, the hybrid cloud is the best of both worlds. This is where a company leverages public cloud services such as Amazon Web Services, Google Cloud, Windows Azure for their own private use. So you can let the service provider take care of all the expensive infrastructure and you still have that security. However, data security and data sovereignty are the key issues at play with hybrid clouds. I hope that this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.